Coming up, a tip leads police to a major drug bust. What was uncovered, making the community a little safer. Plus, Sioux Falls' newest middle school is just months away from completion. What students and teachers can expect. Good morning, this is Kelly Land on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your day. A major drug bust Tuesday night in Sioux Falls may have saved several lives, according to police. Acting on a tip, the Drug Task Force arrested 24-year-old Jacob Winters of Sioux Falls outside of a hotel on West Russell Street. Police say a search of his hotel room turned up 27 grams of power, powdered fentanyl and a bottle with 52 pills of fentanyl. There's others that are involved in this investigation. We do expect more arrests. Winters is facing numerous drug charges, including possession of a controlled substance with the intent to distribute. Police in Aberdeen also made a drug bust on Tuesday. A drug dog hinted there was a need to search a vehicle during a traffic stop. Police uncovered a pound of meth, THC wax, and a handgun with several extended magazines. Officers also found more than $6,000 cash. Charges are pending against two people who were in the car. A phone call to police helped officers track down two people accused of stealing catalytic converters off of vehicles. The caller noticed two people carrying bags and heading to a wooded area that attaches to a salvage yard. Officers that got there that found these two people, they were in the process of cutting out catalytic converters from a couple of different vehicles. The suspects tried running from the scene but were caught. They now face a list of charges. Police don't know if uh, suspects are connected with any other catalytic converter thefts that have happened in the area. Turning to weather now, our temps are bouncing back after a latest round of winter weather. Let's send it over to meteorologist Scott Munn to see how warm today could get. Well, good morning, everybody. We are looking at temperatures that will be warmer today than what we've had over the past couple of days. Thanks in part to seeing that sunshine. Looks like we'll have mostly sunny skies across Kettleland for today. Temperatures will eventually warm to the 40s in many locations, and it looks like these temperatures will continue to warm for this coming weekend. We'll also increase the winds. Those winds will come in from the south. And next week is still looking active. More details on a Kettleland Live Doppler forecast with Brian coming up. Thanks, Scott. Here on Watertown and Sioux Falls hosted the girls' state high school basketball tournaments last weekend. Now, here on in Watertown are two of the hot spots in the state when it comes to new COVID cases. While many of us want to get back to normal, Avera's chief medical officer warns it may be too soon. Dr. Michael Elliott says there are still too many things we don't know, especially when it comes to the new variants. We know that uh, the monoclonal antibody treatments don't necessarily work as well with some, against some of the viral variants. We believe the vaccines have some protection against the viral variants, but they're new and emerging, and so there's just some uncertainty. All indications are the variants do spread more easily. Last week, the South Dakota Department of Health confirmed that testing did uncover cases of the UK variant in the state. Minnesota has also confirmed the Brazilian and South African variants. Ben Rifle Middle School is gearing up for its completion date this June. As construction edges closer to being finished, the school is now working on helping future students transition. What are the opportunities that are going to be there for them when they come in and become part of the Ben Rifle family? And so we've met with our current sixth and seventh graders that will be our seventh and eighth graders next year, both at Patrick Henry already and Whittier Middle School. Families will also have the chance to attend open houses this summer to come tour the school. Construction on the new Summit Arena in Rapid City is right on schedule despite some winter weather. Construction of the $130 million project started in November of 2019. Since then, nearly 850 men and women have put in 225,000 hours working on the project. We will be finished at the end of September of this year and we will be doing events in there in October and we are on time and on budget. The Rushmore Plava Plaza Civic Center will officially change its name this summer. This week marks a big milestone for one Brookings business. The town and country shopper is celebrating 50 years of publication. Richard Griebel and Larry Ammon started the paper back in 1971. About 20,000 papers are printed each week. We started out with very little equipment and so we worked practically through the night and uh, ended up with a 12-page paper the first time. Larry took sole ownership of the business in 1984. 
The paper serves about 21 towns and other surrounding areas. And that's a look at some of our top stories. Now let's get one last look at your weather with meteorologist Brian Karstens. Brian? Okay, weather today, clearing skies. We're looking at decreasing clouds. Uh, that's the one trend here. And then also more sunshine means uh, more melting snow today for many. And I think that will be holding true in the Sioux Falls area. Highs mid-40s. Lighter winds, not too strong yet today. But tomorrow we're going to see a change of that. A southerly wind that's going to start off in the morning. And by the end of the afternoon, it'll be quite breezy. In fact, windy weather for Pier and Aberdeen likely at least 20, possibly 30 to 35 mile an hour wind out of the south. Sioux Falls will be strengthening as well, but even more so by Saturday. Let's take a look at some of these sample wind numbers coming into the forecast. You can see Friday afternoon already there at about 30, 35 pier. And then look at what happens Saturday morning. We still have some wind around, and then that's going to continue to increase throughout the day. And by mid-afternoon, there could be a few spots near 40. So. You have to consider that when you look at the temperature. I know it's nice. It looks like 50s, maybe even some 60 degree weather, but a lot of wind to go with it. Here is a preview of next week's moisture. And look at that. There's a lot of water from the Gulf of Mexico coming up into the Central Plains. We shall see how far north this will go. But all trends are still pointing at southern Ketherland, still picking up some uh, decent moisture supply next week. Could be rain, could be snow, or both. More to come. All right, highs today, 40 degree weather, 45 Sioux Falls, 43 Worthington. Looks like tonight we're dropping back to the middle 20s and uh, mainly clear. And then tomorrow, 50 degrees Sioux Falls. We will climb again on Saturday to 57, 58 Sunday, and then chances of precipitation. Really picking up Monday, but more so into Tuesday. Aberdeen, we get to watch the path of this uh, low pressure track. It still could very well include you, but I still want to favor our best odds in the south and the southeast. That's where the deeper moisture supply is coming from. So for Pier, the layout would also include areas of rain showers Monday, transitioning to some chance of snow by Tuesday. But we're just holding 40s for now for highs. Got a lot yet to figure out on that path of that system. Rapid City in the Black Hills also looking at a temperature decline by Monday and Tuesday and some much needed moisture, hopefully this time too for the Northern Hills. Check out details online at kettleland.com.